Hello, and welcome. Surprise morning here in Camus with the last, a special edition of The Last Step, and we've flown in Frank to be with us today. It's been quite some time since we've uh, actually been on the same, in the same place. It has been probably Mexico yeah. when we were last together for a show. And yeah, Frank's been flying around the world with David and Lisa and yeah, has been back in California to do some things uh, at his ranch out there and has flown out. This is the second time he's visited us, first time for a couple of weeks and now he's back for four or five days. And uh, yeah, so welcome, Frank. Thank you. It's good to be back on the show. It's always been a little lonely in front of my computer. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was nice because even this idea of doing the show together in different places and then as soon as we come together there is a different vibe, there's a different energy. And Last night actually Frank had a chance, we, uh, we went out to, to dinner with a bunch of us here and then we came back and watched the documentary that will be coming out and Frank had a, a private special screening so it has before all the coloring and the sound was done and so uh, yeah I just wanted yeah. to see what you thought of the film. Yeah, I loved it, you know, and it really ties in with the, with the, um, the, the lesson today that there is nothing to fear because I went through a lot of, uh, you know, when I was in Mexico for a while and the movie was being edited, I went through a lot of, uh, um, with, with Soren, his nightmare of, uh, you know, letting go of, of, of control and, um, and it just shows that, you know, we talked about it and said, oh, these people are not professionals, and, you know, and, uh, and he is. And, uh, you know, and it's a great movie because it's really, you know, we said it, it's, it's God's movie. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful. It really is. And, and uh, it, ha you know, it, it brought up stuff for me because of Soren, you know, because of having been there, because I do, you know, I have... Now, for me, the horses are coming back in here, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know, what, with, with the thing, what, what if they would suddenly come in, you know, and say what I'm supposed to do with the horses? And uh, I thought, well, no, that, that can't happen. And, and, you know, and even I thought, you know, it's all about, the, there's a lot of trust. It's all about trust, the movie. And I thought, maybe I shouldn't even mention that because... I don't want to give any ideas, <laughs> you know. And here now I say it in front of the camera, yeah. so everybody knows. Someday I'll train you. On Someday I'll right. train me. Yeah. <laughs> <Oof. laughs> it was interesting because yesterday's lesson was the uh, God is the strength in which I trust, and it's always such a beautiful one to come back to forty-seven, and and then today as we read it this morning, you know, it's a short one, but there's a few uh, a few lines in there that just like. Yeah, each time I read it, just like anything else, like the big book or, you know, each time I read the course, there's certain lines that just land so deeply. And in the first paragraph, it says, you know, the idea for today simply states a fact. It is not a fact to those who believe in illusions, but illusions are not facts. In truth, there is nothing to fear. It is very easy to recognize this. And this is... Uh, you know, I've been writing these things in the morning to <clears throat> take my practice of that I was sharing on my morning show and that will be back soon, hopefully. And just these words and like they actually have become like these, not steps, like they're a cross between the steps and the Course of Miracles of the things I do in the morning to help remind me. And I always say that in the uh, 12 steps, the first two are recognitions of the mind and the third step is a decision. And every time I read something that says recognize in the course, it's like, okay, and I write it down. And that's actually the third. It's funny, I called them precepts when I, when I was uh, writing them. I'm like, oh, I'm going to call them. I started off with the Jedi precepts because I have an affinity towards being a Jedi master, but really mastering my resentments. And then we went and saw this Joseph Smith movie, and it says his, his things, all his stuff. He's like, these are the precepts from Joseph Smith. I'm like, ah, oh, he beat me to it, this guy. But it was... Uh, the recognition part was, is like the third part in my morning thing, so every time I read that, it is very easy to recognize this, there is nothing to fear, but it is very difficult to recognize it for those who want illusions to be true. That's like this want, you know, it always comes back to desire. 
And it's funny, I have my journal out, and I was this was last night. I was like, hey, what are we going to do the show on? Or, and, you know, it's always spontaneous with me and Frank. But I flipped back to, like, very far at the beginning of my journal. And I was doing this, you know, setting the goal for, you know, a long time. And this is about three years ago. And there is a list that <laughs> I didn't even share this with you, Frank. And it was a... My first week at La Casa, and it was after I, you know, I, I wrote the, did the little levels of the mind and everything on there, and then there's a list, and it's like, I want to be loved, I want to experience love, but there's specifics, and I go through, I want to make a movie, like all the mm -hmm. stuff, and there's like 12 of them, every single one has come <laughs> true in the last two years, every <laughs> single one, I'm like, oh my God, this was before community, I want to live in community, you know, it was just like, Oh, so anyway, it was like, just reminds me to come back to that point of desire. And every lesson, it points to that, like, in the morning, like, what is it that I want? Do I want illusions? Do I want to train the horses? Or do I want to heal my mind? You know, you were yeah, talking yeah. about Soren, you had that re you know, reaction because he came to heal his mind. And then, of course, all the I know came up for all of us, like, when yeah. I look at myself in the film. And yeah, and, and that's what uh, also, I mean, we, we've been talking about the horses and how it would go, and I have... <clears throat> I have some discomfort around it because it's not at all, uh, you know, what, I, what I'm used to and, and we, we have, there's so much I know in what I did, in what we do with the horses, you know, and the, and the, 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 it's almost the community of that type of horsemanship and, and it really works and it works better than anything else and so it's very hard to take any other, because there's nothing Whenever there's a problem, we can come in and fix it. And, and uh, so if you would come now and say, oh, try this. <laughs> I would have a huge reaction to that. I said to you, that to Sven, I said, it's like if I was in an arena and you would come in and say, hey, let's do it like that. I would kick you out. <laughs> it all comes back to who's doing the fixing. Right. It's like when we even think that we're fixing the horse. Yeah. Cause <clears throat> Go ahead. Yeah, that's it. You know, I... I, I that, that's the problem because this is so specific and so precise and so unique that it's very hard to, to not go who's doing the fixing and, yeah. and letting it go. So the prayer is always, I don't know anything. You know, I really mm. don't know anything. And with something that specific, it makes it very cha challenging. I have to say, I, I don't know what it's going to look like. But. Yeah, from what you shared, it's <laughs> like having this connection with the horse. And like, so there's an element of the I don't know that happens. So it's almost like a spiritual self-concept. Like we get caught up in something that we need to let go of even deeper. Yeah, and it is also something where you don't, with the horse, and that was, I, I guess that's how, why spirit pushed me into it, because you can't have an <clears throat> agenda with a horse. Right. You know what works, but you can't have an agenda. You have to really adapt to them, and it can look, so, so there, there's a deep letting go, but then there's also that, really yeah. egoic mind also from the master that I was taught from yeah. and all that so it's so, interesting it's like you went you know all this recovery and all that and then you went into this really mind training like we always talk about even a diet or veganism mm -hmm. all this can be used for mind training but that's really a high level of it's it's yeah and what's interesting my sponsor at the time uh, I was about you know I was in a program for about 10 years and he really taught me I mean, he was the first guy who really honed me in like that. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, when, are you not, are you hearing what I'm saying? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. And he says, uh, you're not listening, you're looking at your feet. You know, if you, if you listen yeah. to me, look in my eyes. And, um, and then, you know, in the meantime, I met Bach and all this happened. And he was dying in the hospital, my, my sponsor, Bob. So I went to, to, to see him there. And he always taught me, you know, about, the program and anything, you know, at the time we were reading a lot of Emmett Fox, mm. look for the principle, you know, and that was the, the, the training is, you know, look, always look for the principle. How can I apply this principle? So he was dying in the hospital, had emphysema and, uh, you know, he couldn't talk and he calls me in like this. And I told him about Buck, he said, you follow this guy and you listen for principle. You know, mm. that was the last time, I, actually it's really sad. <laughs> <clears throat> you 
Yeah, it changed my life, and um, and that's that's what I did. You know, listen for principle. How can I apply this? You know, and and with the voices, it came in clear, and with metaphysics, it was much harder, mm. because metaphysics I can be very. You know, then I got into metaphysics with Joel Goldsmith and Mary Baker Eddy, and I went that route. But I didn't know how to apply it, and that's what I love today about the course. It's so, um, you know, there's, there's such an application, especially we're in, in, in the community. And, you know, um, the movie really demonstrates that because it is about, uh, it's about the crew making mm. the movie. Yeah. That's what it is. It's exactly what we do. You know, this crew gets together to make a movie to heal. And it's really spectacular because all the, all the tools are in the movie. And, um, and it's beautiful in a spectacular way. And there's a lot of breathing space in the movie where you can really reflect on what you just saw. Yeah. So there's a, a lot of, uh, you know, visual beauty. And, and uh, it's, it's like going through a meditation every once in a while. You know, we're being shown something and really pulled into mm. the scene. And then whew, you get breathing again. So, see, this is, was, is the perfection of God. I mm. don't even think that you can think, well, it was probably, you know, I, but it, it just came out like, wow, this is a, a really beautiful piece of um, demonstration of what we do. Mm. And of trust, like you said, it was this, I remember the prayer I had at the beginning was for a deeper trust through the process. And I, yeah. I totally forgot, it was late last night when we watched it, that it was a lesson of the day. It was like a perfect day. Yeah, yeah to actually watch it. And then in today's, when I read that at the beginning of the th third paragraph, it says, the presence of fear is a sure sign that you are trusting in your own strength. And it's like with everything you're talking about, and even for myself in the movie, and I look at the characters that would start to trust in their own strength and myself as well, that's where the fear would enter in and, you know, to a great degree. And it's funny because in the 12-step book, they have that page on fear, and it mm -hmm. talks about, they classify it with stealing, and they classify it with stealing because stealing is relying on yourself to get things that you think you need or whatever it is. And it's like reliance, you know, this idea of relying on a higher power, something outside myself. And then yesterday's, I think there's a line in there that says, it actually says, you're right to be scared if you are trusting in your own strength. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. So even repeating that yesterday, God is the strength in which I trust. And it was like, you can notice, I could notice in the moment. There was like, oh, there's a constant relief because that part yeah. of the mind wants to come back in and start trusting myself. Yeah, and that was very, very, um, you know, that was a great um, uh, lesson. Those two, you know, yesterday and today, to watch this and, and really see it, uh, see it play out. And as I said before, you know, I was there when I saw all this fear, you know, mm. and, and then it just, uh, you know, that's, that's how everything has turned out for me, you know, you were saying uh, you put a lot of, you know, what, um, uh, what, what, what would I like, what do I want, but I didn't know what I wanted, you know, I actually, I just wanted, um, I, I just wanted to wake up and, but I, I actually didn't know it was going to be that much fun. I thought it was going to be much more like, you know, old school uh, bunk beds and sitting and maybe, you know, I don't know, learning. I mean, with the big book and, and, uh, and you know, here we're doing shows, I'm traveling around. It's so much more fun than, than anything I, I could have imagined. You it know? is. That's, and, and the other thing I wanted to say, you know, when you were reading out of the book with the fear, and I was just thinking, oh, I'm so happy that I have the, the, the course to go with it because yeah. that is so practical. And, you know, it, it just takes the, the 12 steps and it puts a turbo prop on it, but with so much more explanation, because out of that uh, passage with the fear that's in the, in the big book, I could have never, yeah. you know, this, this is so, it's so great to, to, to have this, yeah. you know. And it's the same thing, you know, we come to it the is. same thing. We, the, having 
awakening, having had a spiritual mm. awakening. Yeah, and it's funny because it's all, even when you talk about the horses, you know, you say, oh, I'm going to have to do this. It's all anticipation. Even before the show, yeah, yeah. when we were sitting here talking, they're like <laughs> retranslating whatever fear would come up as the cameras turn on. It's like, and having spoken in a lot of rooms and things, we were talking about this, like, it's the retranslation of even that, like, oh, it becomes this excitement. It's not the fear of, and it's actually that idea that of myself, I do nothing. Okay, I have nothing to do here. And then that turns into an energy that feels almost uplifting, like the fear gets transformed. And so it's that same thing of actually changing the idea that, you know, there is nothing to fear. And anticipation, my, one of my favorite lines is from Lesson 135, and it's anticipation plays no part at all. Present confidence leads the way. And then the line from yesterday, which I love in Lesson 47, you must, this is after he talks about, you know, the trust, he says, and actually it's talking about the frailty. You know, he says, the recognition of your own frailty, which is really step one in recovery, the powerlessness, you know, is a necessary step in correction of your errors, but it is hardly a sufficient one. So just saying that I can't is only one step. It's, uh, he says... Is hardly sufficient one in giving you the confidence which you need and which you are entitled. You must also gain an awareness that confidence is your real strength and is fully justified in every respect and in all circumstances. This is like paying tribute to that. Present confidence leads the way. Because when you are in that zone, when you're in the zone with the horses, you are like, like Jordan, mm-hmm. you know. We were at dinner last night, and we saw this. Uh, the NBA shootout was on, or it was the All-Star game, and I was glancing up at the TV, and they showed Jordan from, like, 1981, or I forget when it was. All right. And I... he hit, like, 19 <laughs> in a row, and you just watch it. You're like, this guy is, like, on another level. But it's the same thing as, like, when you let go of this personal attachment to it. Yeah. And it's really the fear, the thinking I can do it. So that's really... Yeah, yeah and this, nice. this confidence is coming more... I mean, I... It's coming, I've went through so much transformation this year, you know, with you guys and, and, uh, and I can really feel that confidence coming in. You know, now I just close my eyes and boom, it's there. It's, there's nothing to fear because, mm. you know, God is, is the, 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 the strength in which I can trust and I'm, and I'm feeling this, this. Yeah. I can feel it and I can just, uh, I know it's going to, you know, it's going to work out. Yeah. And, and so, so... And it just occurred to me that, I mean, we practice, you know, even in recovery and here in community, we practice this idea of it's through relationship. You know, how am I relating to my, my fellows? And I notice even, Frank, when you're on the road, sometimes you'll go back to Switzerland, you're alone, you'll go to a meeting or something, but you'll, ah, I'm not feeling so... You even get physically sick sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't want to come here because you're physically sick. I say, ah, you'll be fine once you get here. And then sure enough, you come, and there is this... The confidence is gained through trusting a brother, and it's like, yeah, so it's a priceless... uh, And sometimes it's also good to be out there because when I'm out there, I have to be more vigilant because I can't... You know, I realize here I'm, I'm, I'm... you know, all I have to do is follow, and in the morning we do the lesson. There, I need more discipline. You know, when I'm when I'm uh, alone, I need more discipline because uh, it's you know you're not there to yeah to to that I can just rely on. Uh, you know, I put a lot of reliance on the group, which is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there's a part even in the step book that says reliance or defiance. It's yeah. like, what am I so? using the symbols that are given to actually rely on who's the one in my mind that's a symbol. You always say that, you know, there's a trust and like we have in sponsorship and then it leads us to that confidence in our own internal voice. Yeah, and everything, I mean, in the community, everything is laid out for you because we just expose the things in the morning and then this is what you do, this is what, you know. And, and in, in, out there, it's not like that. So, it's just so that easy, it's that there, simple. There just, come, just it is simple, morning, just follow <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then you have the the you know when I'm when I'm out there, I have to rely much more on the dis- rules for decision. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this idea of <laughs> sometimes it doesn't feel as simple because even watching the movie for me, I have no, the first time I watched it, there was still some, you know, some of those patterns or energies that were still there, and now. 
after. I mean, it's been two years since the movie was filmed and there's like nothing there. It's like watching a different person. And I'm like, oh my God. And it's a testament to this. You know, there is nothing to fear. All those things that I thought just weren't true. Like what you're saying even about, oh, I may have to let go of the I know with the horses. What if it's used totally the opposite that you don't know? It's like yeah, the yeah. fact that you think that <laughs> is the same problem. You can't solve the problem from the same level. And it's like, so I bought my mother this sign and it hangs in her kitchen. It's like 90% of the things we think of never happen. And it's like, that's the anticipation. It's always, okay, this is what's going to happen. It's like this constant mind training of the rules for decision, of letting go, of judging the situations before I make a response, of all of it. When we do that daily, it helps us to get into this place of God is the strength in which I'll trust. Yeah. yeah. It was very, um, th there was, you know, this. there was some scenes with you. It was great to watch it with you because I had, you know, there's a lot of love that came up, you know, be between us that, that I have for you and and to see you that vulnerable, you know, because we, 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 we have, <laughs> we joke around a lot, and, but there it was so raw, you know, and I thought, wow, you know, I really love this guy, you know, it, it was, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. So hopefully everybody will see it soon. Yeah, we're going to go on a festival. Uh, we're going to apply to some festivals and see what happens with those. And Frank has some experience with the festivals. So, and shopping. He's been undoing some of <laughs> what, shopping. <laughs> well, this weekend you've had a few experiences of going out, and you said, "Ah, oh, I'm not used to to these patterns or whatever." When you went out, we were shopping oh. for our set here, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, usually I do what I want. <laughs> I get what I want, but it was interesting. But you know that too, because I was when when we that that has totally changed for me. Yeah, I, I can let go in a second. In Mexico, I went crazy, <laughs> and when it started, because that's where where that that function came in for me. That I got the Decorating. house, and I got the house ready for the for the retreat, and it had to be exactly you know, uh, um, you know. I didn't know. I was just really. Yeah still trying to, to fulfill my self-concept. Yeah. And I learned so much, you know, being now also on the, on the road with David and, and Lisa, and a lot of my self-concept dropped, because there I bought, bought a house, and, and, yeah. <laughs> and the first house we were looking at wasn't at all what I would have bought. So, um, you know, I had to, there, there was a lot of letting go there, and, and, uh, and then it made, you know, it's, it's just, I, I'm I'm so great. I mean, my yeah. life has changed so much in the last year and a half. Yeah. And you even said staying in California. You said you were there, and you're like, I would have never stayed here. You were staying right, right. staying wherever in an yeah, apartment. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. And someone else was living in your so, so your actually, ranch. Yeah, <laughs> I led that my my caretaker. You know, I thought, okay, he's in my master because because his house burned down in the fire, and my. Um, and, and so I, since he lives there and I was in Switzerland, I said, just move into my house. So now I'm in this little apartment uh, uh, with my daughter that she rented because we're near the horses like that. And uh, he's in my master bedroom. And I just, now I laugh about it. Yeah. You know, I'm saying, okay, this is, this is just interesting. And I can, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much faster I can let go. Um, all this stuff is, it's accumulative, you know. Yeah, it was, it was great, but it felt. I mean, I have to say, uh, uh, Portugal felt like going through the ringer a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so. it's these it's these roles because Frank was brought in this week. He was in California and was coming back to really just to connect in. And at the time, we said, "Oh, well, we're you know Frank when he's talking about Mexico and that it was his his own house that he was decorating and so forth and here we have the studio and the sanctuary that we're like hey we just want to bring you in as a consultant as a, as a design specialist so he can share his ideas and just even the lighting everything in the studio here and so it was a lot like what you perceived with Soren and his uh, in yeah. the movie and him knowing all his past reference to bring it into a new experience of yeah, and when we went to, to shop the other day. To the <laughs> Ikea. Had nothing that was bought. They got lost in Ikea for a few hours. They got lost, and then, and then I was, yeah, it was totally different than what I would have yeah. gotten. But 
You did you come know, back with a few things for your cabin. I had, I I had three things. Yeah. Where are they? <laughs> They're in the other room. <laughs> there. So, so um, work in progress. Work in progress. But but the let you know the letting go and the house you know the house in in Mallorca, I I was buying the house, but I could see so much more detachment. Right. And I said, okay, if that's, it's that if that's for the. You know, it's the, the what's for the greater good. You know, what's for the yeah. greater good, and and um, and it is. It's experiencing it. It's stepping through the what I perceive as fears, and then actually walking through it. Because I remember the first I bought my minivan, and then Susanna uh, took it out <laughs> and put a couple scratches in it the first day. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing an attachment to anything, anything that I actually think is mine or the possession aspect, but. Possession is okay when handed over to spirit. So it's like now, I've bought another car or whatever, and now it's like it doesn't feel like it's my car. Like and you literally, would have never I don't. Bought a minivan. Yeah. Oh no. You would have that's a whole. <laughs> that's that's the minivan. Thing. That's my minivan that miracle. That's your concept. You have the um, boat miracle. Right. The, right. The, yeah. Uh, Swiss sailor, and I have my mini, minivan <laughs> miracle. But it's like this idea of actually, actually doing it, taking the step, and then seeing that I don't want these things. You know, this is the line I just read. What do I want? If I want illusions, if I want those things, then of course there's going to be fear because I'm going to have fear that I'm going to lose it. You know, mm. we talk about a lot. If there is a lot of money, well, there's a lot of fear because it's not there is an ease of living, but there's also this, oh my God, there's so much to more lose. to lose. So it's like really facing all that. And it doesn't have to happen in form. You don't have to give everything over. You don't have to do those things, but you have to face it in your mind. You know, I always say, Yoda, be prepared to face the things that you you have a fear of losing. Like if you look at that, then you can come to a a more peaceful state of mind. So, the control. Yes. Yeah. That's that's the big lesson. Yes, the lifetime lesson. Yeah. Grant me the the serenity. And to and you know, the thing. it's that uh, the the serenity. And, and what, you know, when I say to people about the program, what is this program about? It's just about one thing, yeah. letting go. Yeah. You know, we, it says we have to let go, absolutely. And not often, the, the big book is not written in a way, you must do this, you must do that, because mm. otherwise all the alcoholics would have run away. They don't like, <laughs> they don't like to be told what they, to do. But there is some musts in there. You know, you must find God. Mm. And you must go, we had to let go, absolutely. What does that mean? You know, what does that mean, letting go, absolutely? Mm. And the more, you know, now, uh, and it's great because I go to meetings, I teach what I learn, and yeah. the more I realize that it's, it's huge, you know, the, the, everything, everything. Letting go of roles. And, and, it's, and in the steps it says, you know, my, my, my will and my life. What else is there? There's mm. nothing else. I give up my will and my life, and that's what we do. That's it. And, and, and the, this, you know, I said it went through the ringer, and I saw the movie yesterday, they, oh, my God, these guys went through the <laughs> ringer. <you know? laughs> it's, uh, so some of it is a bit of a ringer experience, you know, to let go. It feels like... The, it doesn't being, have to be painful, but it usually is experienced acid, that know? way. <laughs> An acid bath. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. It's our attachment that causes right, it right. to feel painful, whether it's to a person, to a role, or to a thing, to ownership, whatever it is. The more attached, the more painful it's going to feel as I'm letting, seemingly letting the go of the these big things. book says painful ego deflation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're coming to the end of our time here, Frank, and we're going to okay. drive Frank to the airport. He's heading yeah. back to Switzerland. Yeah, I'm going to California and then Switzerland then, on Wednesday. Yeah, for a couple of days. So we'll see when the last step makes its way back into the, to the lineup. It should be uh, in the future. We have an idea to film a couple of shows and yeah. edit them to put them on at some point. And yeah, the morning shows will be back soon. So it feels like a real gift to have Frank here. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you all very soon.